hungry. Let's hunt. Oh. Uh, hey, uh that's all what we're here for, Rezu. Okay. Chat with the Darshan representatives. Right. Where are the Darshan representatives? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh. Wait, do I just go down from here? Are they... In the Grand Bazaar? Oh, there is her. Oh, hey. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, everybody, like, appeared once. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong taking advice from me on what to wear. Back in the day, my fashion style was considered cutting edge by everyone mm. in academia. Uh, really? Well, then, uh, sure, M Madam Farzan. Uh, maybe you could pick out a few fashionable outfits for us. Farzan! Nilu! <gasps> Even Dia and Candace are here! What are you all up to? Candace and I bumped into these two while we were strolling through the streets. Madam Farzan here is pretty friendly. When she heard that we were buying clothes, she decided to give us some help. Hmm. I don't really see anything I'm familiar with. Never mind. We can purchase some textiles and make the clothes ourselves. Let's go with the plain fabric as our base. And broider red and pink flowers on. Oh, and some green leaves. Oh, wait a sec. Uh, you sure that's the latest style? That sounds a lot like what the older folks back home would wear. Oh my. Don't worry. This style is a timeless classic. Mm. Uh, no thanks. This is actually <laughs> sounding pretty weird. They, uh, I love... Wait, wait, wait. Madame Parzan's right. That style is a classic. It used to be mainstream fashion. But these days, there are some other options too. Mm-hmm. If you don't mind, how about I pick some clothes out for everyone? It's not often that we get to meet up. Especially since Candace rarely makes it to Sumeru City. True. Also, I know a few places where I can get a great bargain. You mean every place sure. in Grand Bazaar. I'm happy to leave it to you. I'll come with you to have a look. One always has to keep on top of what the youth of today are into. <laughs> Madame Farazan? Uh, come quick, she's over here! Oh! Hmm? Who are you? We're um. new in the academia. We saw all the amazing things you did during the competition. Oh my god. Do you have any classes we could sign up for? Oh my god. <clears throat> She's ecstatic. And you're both very welcome to join. That's great. We can't wait. Um, oh. what's your area of research? Precision mechanics? Oh I'm no. From the oh. <laughs> oh no. Uh -huh. But you seem like an expert in machines. Wait, sorry. I remember now. You were representing the Haravatat Darshan in the championship. Oh, their classes are so boring, though. I'm sorry, ma'am. Let me know if you run any other classes in the future. I'll be there. Damn. Oh, God. <laughs> I knew it. What about you? Aren't you going to leave with your friend? I think you're amazing, Madam Farazan. And I'd like to learn from you for a while, if possible. Oh. I can take the class you're teaching as an option, even though cross-darshan lessons might be a little tough to arrange. But I look forward to learning from you. I see. You're a good egg, child. Don't worry. Study under me, and I promise you, you will get the best teaching available. I mean, even if she is a Haravatat teacher, the way that she teaches Haravatat is incredibly technical. Like, so she could probably still gain something out of it, like, mechanics-wise. <laughs> Thank you so much, ma'am. Well, I won't disturb you any further. See you in class. You didn't even ask her what the schedule was. Wait, 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 come back. I don't quite understand what happened there, but congratulations, I think. Yeah, she Shopping. never has students. Would you two like to come and pick out some clothes? Yes, please. Yeah. Oh. We've got a meal with Kaveh later, and we have to check in with all the other contestants before then. Boo. Oh, by the way, have any of you seen Hat Guy or Layla? Yeah, where's Hat Guy? I don't know where Hat Guy went. We just saw Layla not too long ago, though. Okay. 
I also just saw her not too long ago. But she was hanging out with some other Ritahua students, so we didn't mm. get a chance to speak with her. Are you gonna go and see what she's up to? Yeah, we're just gonna check up on her. students? They must be the ones who voted for her to enter the competition, right? But they all hate her. She didn't end up winning, so Paimon wonders how they feel about that. Let's go take a peek. They hate her, though. They're like, Ugh, why is she always by herself? Yo, what's up? If you don't come to Sumeru City often, classic floral designs aren't a bad choice. Those don't really go out of style. And of course, since you're putting this on your body, you need to consider the type of fabric the clothes are made from. Some materials might look stunning, but they can be terribly uncomfortable to wear. Agreed. After all, is fashion not the constant phasing in and out of classics? In that sense, you could always consider the style I suggested, too. Wait, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, ma'am, but I think it could be quite a while before the style you recommended comes back into fashion. Oh. I actually think the style recommended by Madame Faruzan is quite beautiful. Isn't it just? You have a discerning eye, my dear. Oh my god. <laughs> I love the interaction. It's so cute. Hello, ladies. Ladies, just me, wolf boy. Arf, arf, wolf, wolf. Arf, arf. <laughs> oh my god, where's Daya? Hi, Daya. Where's Layla? My goodness. It's nighttime. She's probably looking at the stars or something to that effect. But where do you want me to go, baby? Near the thing? Okay, I guess I'll go there. Come in. Tomorrow. Yeah. Excuse me? Hey. Uh, yo, she up? She up, though? Oh, she up. Oh, that sucks. Curry is a popular dish in Sumeru. It's said that every household has its own way of making this. Yeah, it's true. Is she up, you know? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Was she at the booths? Oh god. Razor. That's not how doors work. Hey, sir. You good? Ugh. Hey, Armin and... Wait, where's... Where's the other girl? Wait, what? Higher? Oh. oh, I should have just. Oh. Are you that bitch from earlier? I'm sorry, everyone. Hmm. I could have done better in the third round. Oh, stop it. If you're going to beat yourself up after doing as well as you did, how bad does that make us look, huh? Heck, it's not like any of us had the guts to enter the championship. I didn't see the whole thing, but you were the only contestant who scored points in both the first two rounds, right? Yeah. And I heard that you actually found the diadem first in round three. <laughs> you came so close to winning the competition. That's sweet of them. Uh, I just got lucky, I think. Also, why are you wearing a different that can't outfit? Be true. You had some really stiff competition out there. The renowned Tainari from Amorta, even Sino the General yeah. Mahamantra was there. You're amazing, all of you. See? Oh my god, yeah, you're right. God, freaking the Mahamatra <laughs> was competing, for god's sake. Getting points off them is a huge achievement. The way I see it, people aren't exaggerating one bit with the nicknames they give you. You are a genuine genius. Oh, thanks a lot. But I really don't think I qualify as a genius. In the second round, for instance, I dozed off and somehow found myself beside the device when I came to. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Don't be so hard on yourself. 
We've decided we're taking you out to celebrate, and that's final. Aww. Let's go. Cheer up, Layla. The rest of today's all about you. Mm. Looks like things are going well for Layla. This is great. Yeah, that's good. Mm. We haven't seen Hat Guy since the end of the competition. Damn. Eh, oh well, it's almost meal time. We better go meet up with Kave and Sino now. Can I please see Hat Guy? Disappointed in me. Oh, what a relief. Finally. Ooh, I can get some good sleep. Layla, they're talking to you, Layla. Can't you see them gesticulating with their hands? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant to do, I'm sorry. <laughs> is this where Hat Guy is? Eleven since. Okay. That guy. Is he inside the tavern? Or is this our meal with the uh, Ave and Kale, Sino, and Tignari. Man, we're a party up in here. Hmm. Okay, why is this loading screen? Oh. Never mind then. As long as it loads into the tavern, that's fine with me. Wow. It's truly the most exhilarating of gameplay. I, I at least get to spawn inside, right? No, there's no way. Please let me enter the tavern, please. Please. Oh no. Isn't this where it stopped last time too? Oh god.
And Chen doesn't want me to finish this event. Oh no. Wait, I'm gonna pause for a sec. Okay, I'm I'm inside now. That was very stressful. God. There's an upstairs dog? Have, oh yeah, of course there is. Please, raise her. I know you're not used to civilization. I'm just kidding. Uh, ooh. Oh, it's Tignari's favorite. Are you sure favorite. you have enough to cover this? Don't blow it all at once. <laughs> Don't worry. I budgeted very carefully, and this is well within my means. Anyway, I've lost count of how many times you've treated me. It's high time I return the favor. You guys are close. Oh, traveler, Paimon, over here. Ooh, look at all this. Good food, here we come. Hmm. I heard that you went to see the other contestants. How's everyone doing? Farzan found herself a student, and Layla's classmates are bowled over by how well she did. Uh, we couldn't find Hat Guy, though. Who knows where he's gone? We didn't even attempt. Oh, has gone missing in action, too. <laughs> The one time I'm actually in a good enough mood to treat him to a nice meal, he disappears without a trace. <sighs> that guy. Where the heck could he have gone? I still have questions about that note he left. <sighs> well, whatever. He can do what he wants. Now, let's eat. Heck yeah. You all share a delicious meal. Oh, I want to eat. <laughs> Bro. You shocked me a little when you hurled the diadem to the ground. On further reflection, of course, it made sense, but at the time I was expecting at least some amount of deliberation. Sachin's voice started talking to me inside my head from mm -hmm. the moment I picked it up. I could feel his emotions, too. It was a mix of despair and horror swirling around inside my mind. Yeah. He bombarded me with his ideas relentlessly, like he was trying to brainwash me. It gave me a splitting headache that only got worse as he went on. Like I was saying at the time, his views are not necessarily completely without value. But if all his research does is lead to misfortune, then we're probably better off without it. Okay. If his forbidden research were to spread in a harmful form and cause people to suffer, the mantra would step in and ban it. I think you did the right thing. I suppose another way to approach it would have been to claim that you agreed to inherit his research, but give up the research as soon as you've inherited the life. <laughs> uh, but that wouldn't have been your style. True. I won't comment on his theories or experiments, but I don't believe that he was careless in his choice of candidate. He chose you. That means he knew what he was doing. Perhaps. I just think that if you accept someone else's things, you should honor their wishes. Mm-hmm. That's a good thing. It means that you have integrity. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. See, you get me, Kale. Aw, It's cutie. a good thing Alhatham isn't here right now. He'd be quick to explain why you're wrong. Seems like you always include him in the conversation. Oh Even my god, stop. Yep. No dinner with Kave is complete without a few words about Alhatham. Mm. Ah. I sense that Alhatham has in fact been here with us all along. Actually. He's here? Where? Why didn't you tell me? He lives rent free in each of our hearts. Oh god, stop it, you fucking. Rent free. Uh, Was it somebody eating a oh, that crunchy? Was horrifying! Meat? It literally what sent chills down my spine. Sound? Good thing you didn't say that before we started eating. That would have killed the mood in a heartbeat. All right, enough about all Haytham. Tainari, did you achieve what you wanted out of the championship? Oh hell yeah! I did in the first round, in fact. Word of mouth proved very effective. I spoke to a handful of people, they told their friends, and so on. Now, 
a record number of people have signed up to attend the next lecture. Oh, are, are you free next month? You should come along, maybe even say a few words. About what? I don't know the first thing about anything Amorta related. Just play to your strengths. For instance, you could talk about the distinguishing features of rainforest architecture, or ask everyone not to chop down too many trees the next time they're building a house. I feel oh, like... that's no problem. Sure, I'll make time. I feel like Kaveh is the type would be like, yes, no, spare no expense, chop down all the trees to make this palace in my mind. Has everyone had enough to eat? I can order more if anyone's still hungry. I'm full. Thanks. Maybe. I'm like super full too. <sighs> if only we could eat like this every day. <laughs> you get fat. Yeah, we should do this more often. Work will always be there, but seeing friends is important too. True. This is a good restaurant. Let's definitely come here again. Sounds good. We should pick a few other places as backup options though. Yeah. There are other good places around here too? Oh, don't forget to invite us if you go. There's nothing we love more than good food. True. Kave, do you have plans after this? I was thinking of maybe going to the academia for some alone time. Nothing set in stone, though. Why do you ask? Oh. I keep watch. You leave, uh -huh. you call me. Mm, since everyone is free, why don't oh. you play a few matches of Genius Invocation I knew TCG? It. Eager to show off your new limited edition card, are you? Not to show off. This is my way of thanking you for your help. Oh my Only god. Only my best friend will have the honor of seeing this card's debut play. Oh my god. Alright, sure. I didn't bring my deck with me though, so I'll need to borrow one. Best friend? Actually, Master, I made a new one a few days back. <sighs> Don't tell me you've been spending all your study hours playing cards. Come on, no need to be so stern. They do say that your innate interests are your best teacher, don't they? That's great. You guys are having a great convo over here. I love it. Let me sit for a little sucky. Okay, I'm done. Bye. We're probably gonna see I'll hate them in one. Oh god. Please let me leave the tavern. As much as I like the food and the music, I don't want to be stuck there. Okay. Am I gonna... <sighs> well, it looks like this inter Darshan Championship's a wrap! All that stuff with Sachin and the Diadem got sorted too! Hmm... Have you still got anything else on your mind? Sachin's research... Huh. 
It might be dangerous if someone finds his old research stash, oh. right? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, where do you think it could be? Auto Village. Holy smokes, you're right! He said he spent all the time True. researching in the desert, didn't he? So it's very possible that that's where he'd leave all his suits. All right, then. Let's head off to Auto Village and try our luck! Okay. There's a distinct hustle and bustle in Sumeru City. <sighs> okay. Isa Kalil Wani <gasps> Shani. Hey, hey. Oh, those cats are. Hey, I'll eat them once up. Yeah, figured you'd be here, buddy. Hmm. Hey, what are you reading? Didn't expect to run into you here. Really? I'll hate them. Is that true? I I'll hate them. And what are you reading? Are those? The research notes? Sachin's notes? Yes. yes. Okay. I came across his profile while I was organizing some documents and became interested in his research. If it wasn't for that, I never would have agreed to being a commentator. Mm. I had a hunch after seeing the fragment of his mind, and sure enough, I came here and found his research. Wait, so you've read it already? And then? Are you alright? How do you feel? I think you may have misunderstood something. The reason Sachin chose that architect to inherit his research was that only he could really empathize with both the calamity and the humanity that these notes seek to convey. Mm -hmm. Only one who resonates with these sentiments would suffer and begin to think of history as bleak, the present as perplexing, and the future as pessimistic. Empathy is a double-edged sword. Clearly, I am Lol. not the same sort of person as Sachin was. I find it unfortunate that I do think that I would actually be affected by this if I read it. <laughs> Empathy is a double-edged sword. It's... Only I'll hate them would say something like that, honestly. Empaths have many friends, and their wide social circle comes with certain societal advantages. But this also makes it hard for them to achieve their goals. I'm an empath. <laughs> Um, excuse me, you can be an empath and not have many friends. <laughs> I would know. All important things in life involve other people. As such, it's extremely difficult to live a life that causes no harm whatsoever to others. Uh huh. If you really want to achieve your goals, you have to be prepared to make enemies along the way. Not everyone can deal with that reality. Ouch. And that reality is like the material here. Objective, heavy, negative. But, at the end of the day, for all these experiment results and conclusions, mm -hmm. it's just one person's perspective. Sachin's. Yeah. No matter how objective an experiment is, honestly, it's still just a reflection of the person or the researcher that created it. So, what are your thoughts now that you've read it? Mm-hmm. He's like, uh, he's dumb As a scholar, and stupid. Sachin was without a doubt a genius. He laid the blame for the darkness in the world squarely on humanity, experimented extensively with reliable results, and drew logical conclusions. In that sense, one might say his views were correct. Yes. So, people are bad? And things can only ever get worse? All of that's true? 
I mean... That is not a question for me to answer. Yeah. Someone else will arrive shortly. You can ask them instead. Oh, is it All wonder? All I will say is that the world is not built on correctness alone. Sometimes, being correct means nothing at all. I mean, I'm glad that you at least see that, I'll hate them. <laughs> Those words you wrote among your notes, what did that lion written in ancient script mean? Lofty ideals may provide no defense at all against nihilism, but perhaps little decisions can. By their own choice, the idealist seeks to bring happiness to all while denying themselves the same. Oh my god. Thus, they shall never reach even the borders of truth until they wipe away the ignorance that blinds them. That is actually a really good line. Oh god. We... Philosophy. <laughs> philosophy 101 with Al Hapo. Oh, that is so sad. And so true. I've never been able to agree with certain philosophies. Uh -huh. Even Sachin himself struggled to comprehend the notion of sacrificing oneself for the greater good. But sadly, all viewpoints will find their supporters, and the way we see the world largely decides our fates. That's true. Alright then, I got what I came for. These research materials are yours to look after. I'll be off. Wait, so you came here just to read this stuff? Oh. Out on a big get together, you know. True. A uh, get together? Ah, yes, that makes sense. This is a good opportunity for that sort of thing. Guess what? Kame treated everyone this time. Then I'm sure he packed up the leftovers for me. See ya. Mm. You're sure oh, about that, huh? Because he's not the type who would be. He doesn't give a flying fuck. Someone else would answer our questions. Who do you think that'll be? If you're some, he's not emotional, and he's not an emotional type. He's like, yeah, people suck. Whatever, man. I'm just gonna do whatever I want. <laughs> I hat guy. We wait around near the research materials. Oh! Mommy! And I mean, mommy, like, Traveler, oh, mom! Paimon, you're already here! Oh, hi! Nahina. Oh, and that guy. Oh, damn. Just call Wait, him. So you asked him to take part in the championship? Of course. <laughs> yes, it was me. Are you surprised? Actually, not really. Like, why would you be surprised? This was the. Hey! I love you! Okay. Did you know that there was something wrong with the diadem from the start? And if so, why didn't you switch it out for another one? Because Sachin's research is not mistaken. He spent his entire life researching this topic, and these materials are a result of that. These are the crystallization of his wisdom. Yes, I was worried that the material might cause some disruption, but I didn't want to wipe away all his hard work searching for the truth. So instead, I had Hat Guy here help me keep an eye on things. I had Hat Guy. Seriously? I think you can stop calling me that now. Uh-huh. Why? Don't you like it? <sighs> uh, <laughs> well, anyway... If Sachin's chosen successor hadn't been able to handle his research, or if it had brought pain to more people, he would have intervened at a suitable moment. Mm hmm And after all that, the person Sachin chose turned his nose up at his life's work. Yep. Pretty hilarious. I was also hoping that this could be an opportunity for you to learn how to interact with Lol. people. Lol. Oh my it god. Like that didn't work out. That's so funny, that wasn't Nahida. Necessary. I'm still paying you back for your help. And the last thing I need is more reasons to be indebted to you. It's not a transaction, like we said, Wanderer. You help people because you like them. Nahida, what did you mean by Sachin's research is not mistaken? Does that mean that you approve of his research? Not mm. approved, necessarily. Put it this way instead. Truth to me is like a shroom bore. I mean, I am also an INFJ like Nahida. So, 
Let's we'll see. We'll see if I agree. Some people only see the mushroom on the shroom. Oh my god. Back, <laughs> and they conclude that the analogy. shroom bore is a mushroom. Ah. Others see only the shroom bore's body, and they declare that the shroom bore is a boar. Still others look deeper inside and determine that the shroom bore is meat. These conclusions are all correct in their own way, but none of them objectively describe the shroom bore. Mm. Paimon kind of gets it. Lol. But also not really. The world is the same way. No one, not even I included, mm -hmm. can understand it in its entirety. All of us are somewhere on the path toward truth. Within the confines of our limited knowledge, some may blindly believe in the beauty of this world, and others may focus only on its evils. In truth, the most important thing isn't what state the world is in now, but what people hope it will become. But of course, I don't mean that as a criticism or a call to action. Ultimately, my duty as the god of wisdom is to guide every form of wisdom to a place where it can find its purpose. That was a long speech. So what are you actually going uh, to do with these research materials? I'ma burn them, I'm because just kidding. Because Kaveh has the successor of this research, does not wish to see these ideas disseminated, I will seal it up. But even though Sachin's research could be considered negative wisdom, it is still a building block of the truth. If someone wishes to follow in his footsteps in the future, I will not stop them. So basically, this is like the opposite of book bed. <laughs> Yes, I completely agree. Oh my gosh, yes. I also look forward to the day that a member of the Vahumana Darshan can not only comprehend his theories, but also find a way out from the despair as well. <laughs> Vahumana doesn't have that kind of talent. Wait. Wait, you're not intending to keep me in Vahumana long term, are you? Lol. <laughs> I don't remember signing up to become a scholar. Don't you think I'm useful enough to you as a prisoner? You're not a prisoner, you fucking piece of shit. Oh boy, here we go again. Ah, uh, yeah. You think so? Well, to that, I would say that in Sumeru, even prisoners have a right to an education. That's wonderful. I love this girl. I love her so much. I hope that your studies in Vahumana will help you deal with your own fate. And learn how best to settle old debts from your past. Mm hmm I will reveal your final thesis myself. Wow. I'm expecting great things from you, Mr. Hat Guy. Final th damn. Imagine the god of wisdom being the one to freaking reveal your thesis. Are you nuts? I would freaking just pass away on the spot. <laughs> mm, you like it. Wow. Oh. The cat ran away. Oh. Oh, okay. Shoot, there's still more. Damn. Oh, I should have paused when I had that chance. <laughs>